Hello! Today, we will be giving a quick overview to showcase Aquarium's platform. Aquarium is an ML data operations platform that helps teams find issues, validate fixes, and add the right data to improve their machine learning data sets. For today's demo, we'll be working with the open source Rare Planes dataset that consists of aerial images of planes on a variety of different runways and locations. In this 2D object detection example, the planes are identified and labeled based off their wing types. And now that we've introduced the data set, let's go ahead and jump in and explore our data with an aquarium. The first view we'll look at is the grid view. It's a comprehensive way to view our data and allows us to view our images in any overlaid bounding boxes. Let's take a closer look at one of these images and view what we call a frame. In the frame level view, we can quickly view any image, label, or prediction metadata. It's easier to view all of your bounding boxes in greater detail, where solid colored outlines represent labels and dotted lines represent model inferences or predictions. We can also use the similar data samples tab to view other detected planes within our data set, similar to the one we currently have selected. We can also use this feature to search for similar examples between entire images and not just objects. While this view is great, maybe we want to narrow down the data we're looking at. You can use Aquarium's interactive query bar to narrow down your view. For example, we can search our data set and return only images where there are at least six labeled planes. Or we can search and filter by metadata to only view runway images from a specific location. These are just a couple examples of how we can use the grid view to identify interesting patterns and features within our data. However, since we deal with such a large quantity of data, it may be hard to figure out where the model is performing particularly badly. It can be difficult to understand the patterns in your model failures and figure out what are the most important issues to prioritize. So what we can do is zoom out and look at our data set from the perspective of similarity through our embedding view. Aquarium uses embeddings as a way to understand the distribution of your data set. In the embedding view, similar data points are clustered closely together and outliers are farther apart. And again, unlike traditional metadata-heavy methods, our embedding view allows you to visualize similarity on the actual unstructured data. We are also able to color the distribution by different metrics. Out of the box, we provide calculations for F1, precision, and recall. Now, coloring by the F1 score, some interesting patterns emerge in the distribution. For example, let's take a look at our largest and most obvious cluster up here. From the legend, we can see that not only is this a large, distinct cluster, but that the model performs worse and is less accurate for these data points. By looking at multiple data points at once, we can take a closer peek, and it's easy to see that this cluster represents images of snowy runways. We can better understand now that planes on snowy white runways seem to be problematic for our model, and after further inspection, this may be due to factors like white planes on white backgrounds are harder to detect. And now that we've found an interesting example, We'll use a feature within Aquarium called Segments to group these data points we've identified together and take further action. Segments are also a great way for your teams to collaborate, and for this example, I'm going to add these snowy images to a segment of type collection campaign. This allows me to now take these images we identified in the cluster and use them to search for similar examples in new unlabeled data sets. Each segment does something slightly different, so now that we've created our segment, let's go look at all the different options. And before we take a look at our new segment, I do want to point out on this page that Aquarium supports different kinds of segments. These segments are good for everything from calculating out-of-the-box metrics to creating meaningful groupings of data for other workflows your team may have. Now focusing back on the segment that we just created, under the Data Collection tab, we can see our Snowy Runway Scenes segment. If I click on Elements, I'm able to see all of the collected frames that were added and now moving to the Collected tab, this allows me to search through an unlabeled data set to find similar images to the ones I've added to this segment. By collecting and labeling these images our model struggled on, hopefully our model performance will improve on this difficult scenario after it's retrained on this new data. Now that we've shown how you can uncover issues and take action, we can highlight another view within Aquarium called the Model Metrics view. This view represents the model performance for your entire data set. We allow you to filter on different performance metrics, as well as things like confidence and IOU scores. Aquarium provides an interactive confusion matrix that allows you to visualize examples of a certain type of confusion or failure down below for easy review and analysis. Aquarium allows you to review two inference data sets at a time. 
allowing you to compare the results between different models. And while the overall dataset view is helpful, we have support for a more tailored experience using segments. You can group your data into what we call a model performance segment, and different from the collection campaign segment we just showed, model performance segments let you track metrics on interesting subsets of your data, especially using a specific type of metric segment called regression tests. This kind of segment allows you to create regression tests for your machine learning models. You can compare your new model's performance to your current model to make sure you're not regressing on important subsets of your data or make sure you're meeting a minimum accuracy bar on a critical scenario. You can create as many of these model metric segments as you'd like to truly understand the nuances of your model's performance. An ML model is only as good as the data it's trained on. An aquarium helps you efficiently find and fix problems in your ML data sets so you can ship better models faster. Thanks for your time and have a great day.